Jerry a, a thoroughly deserved win this afternoon. Do they feel even sweeter when you've had to wait a little bit longer than you would have liked for one? Yeah, funny feeling because I'm at it for such a long time and that's a bizarre thing to say, isn't it, as Bath City manager? But those are the facts. Um, what we are now is three games unbeaten, so that's two draws and a win. Um, first half, I thought we were flat. I thought the energy levels were matched to what we had on Tuesday night and that was the, that was the remit, really. Go out and try and be on the front foot like we were. And of course, when you concede an early goal, and it was a really, really poor goal in regards of we didn't really track runners through the middle of the pitch, very open um, and a good finish at the end of it. But um, of course, then you're, you're challenging all those demons again as a player, aren't you? You've, you've conceded early and how do you get back in the game? And I felt as if we... We huffed and puffed a little bit first half, but not really. I know we've hit the crossbar and things and not really, not really been the team that we've seen in recent weeks. Half time, fair play to a few senior players and myself. We've we've got into the group a little bit and said, look, we, we're not going to go out with a whimper. We need to be um, a little bit more on the front foot. We need to be a little bit more direct because the pitch was ever so firm and, and, and quite bobbly and difficult to play on because of the dry weather and the wind has really dried it out. So we went into the front a little bit more and um, yeah, it's great. Listen, we, we've scored a fantastic penalty and that's under severe pressure from Alex. So difficult in those circumstances. And even the one with Tom scores, it's, is it ever going to go in? It's bouncing around and it's come out to him and he's facing back to goal and credit to him, he's spun and slotted it away nicely. So a sweet feeling. I've had to change it, as you probably saw, three times in the game, shape-wise, to try and work it out for them. I'm glad I did it 1-0. I sort of rolled the dice at 1-0, if you like, and put Ryan Jones at right wing back and Elliot Freer at left wing back. And Eddie looked a little bit leggy today. So, And I thought Omar made a difference when he went in there, actually, with his forward runs and his solidity that he gives us. So, yeah, listen, we had to, we had to find a way, but it's a wonderful win here tonight. Second half, you, you sent the players out very early. It caught us all off guard a bit. A couple of minutes to four. Was it your instruction to go out that <laughs> no. soon? No, it was theirs. It was theirs. They looked around at each other. There wasn't, Mark, there was nothing tactical to say at half time. It was all about um, belief. It was all about the mentality of it. I've probably been more of a psychologist than a football manager and a coach in recent weeks because of the mindset of players when they're low on confidence or, or losing games, you know. However much we say, it doesn't affect them. Of course, they're human beings. It affects us as well. So they'll take confidence from that. They came out early because they wanted to. I noticed they went into a huddle, so there must have been some important key messages in that. And I thought credits and they were great. It was a scrappy game, let's be honest. It wasn't a game that was, that was pretty on the eye, but it's a game that's vitally important to Bath City Football Club that we got three points. It gives us some momentum going into Tuesday night first and a semi-final, but more importantly, the, the league game at Eastbourne. And... Um, and our mini target of four games, so they're set, as I said, we've got a four game block and with third game in, we've got one to go. They're on target for that. And that's all you can ask of the players. When you sit them down, you go through these things. Um, if they hit their targets, then you, you have to say, well done. And character, resilience, team spirit, togetherness in absolute abundance today. And that's, that's what you want as a football manager because... The technical stuff, the pretty stuff, that comes afterwards. You need that first. And um, they've shown it, as I said, they've shown it in abundance today. You used the word psychology, a bit of a psychological boost. The last two games, you've come back and recovered four points from losing positions, which was a bit of a bugbear for the mm. rest of the season. And against two decent sides as well, be a mid-table, Slide Town and Hemel Hempstead, they're not going to roll over. Yeah, I mean, listen, we spoke about Slough a lot, haven't we? And we, we, we sort of briefly spoke about it before the game, me and you. 25 shots, 20 corners. It was phenomenal. It was dominance. This was a different game today. Um, I like the way Mark's sort of sets his teams up you know I've played against him a lot we've had some good battles when he's at Oxford City and now at Hemel he's turned their fortunes around and he's put them in a position where they you know with probably eight wins to seven wins they'll get themselves in the playoffs so they're going for it and um, they showed that from the outset but um, there wasn't too much football played from the two teams which is unusual for myself and Mark's teams we tend to play a lot of football both sides it wasn't for that today the wind was blowing sort of from the bath end up unusually it normally comes Bristol end and um, it didn't make for anything pretty but it made for a three points win. That's the most important thing. You look tonight and Bath City have won it home. Um, and like you said, they've come back from two goals behind now. That's slow and today. That builds confidence. That gets that monkey off the back. We've got to stop conceding early goals and we've got to stop conceding just after half time. We spoke about it a lot. But um, I'm really proud of my players tonight. I have to say that. Listen, we don't get carried away because we're not where we should be in the league. I've said this interview enough to you and told you enough. I understand that. Of course I do. Credit to our support. Over a thousand in here on Family Day again today. Wonderful to see so many young faces. A young group that come over to me now, a regular right behind the dugout, celebrating with me, wanting selfies. But it's not about us in a position where we want to be. 
we're happy because you have to enjoy winning games. We haven't won for such a long time. You have to, you have to enjoy it. And um, because that's what football's about at the end of the day. But we're sort of real, realistic on the back of it as well, knowing that we're not in a position we want to be, but we're doing something about it. That's the key. Two draws and a win is doing something about it, showing some team spirit, showing some togetherness, as I've said. And that's as a football club because... You have to be together as a club and that means the board, it means directors, it means supporters, it means players and it means coaches and managers and support staff. If you're not, you'll get found out. But I think Bath City today are showing what a united front we are and that's important as well to this football club. I've got to say a few words on the match winner, Tom Smith, who's his first league goal for some 14 Brilliant. months, which I don't think anybody here would have believed. No. He scored many screamers from 30 yards, but I think yeah. you'll get just as much of a buzz from scrambling one in from close range today. Over the moon. <laughs> and, and I am. You know, everyone knows what I think of Tom Smith. I, I brought the lad to this club. I brought him back again to this club. And um, he's, he's a special player. He suffered like we all have. I've suffered. Players have suffered. Tom suffered this year because of our form and where we are in the league. He's been getting himself in positions even in the week. You know, he's had one that's deflected that's gone just beyond the, the near post. He's had another one that's been cleared off the line and today. It's not an easy chance, by the way. It's dropped him. He's got his back to goal and he's managed to spin out and slot it home nicely. He'll feel that that monkey goes off his back now. He'll feel a massive relief and nothing would surprise me more that it'll go on now, a little goal trail. So I'm really pleased for him tonight. He's, um, he's a great lad and always works hard at his game. No one will ever fault him for that. But... Um, all of them as a group tonight. Well done. Massive well done to my players. They deserve all the credit. And we'll look forward to a game on Tuesday night over at Froome, which will be really tough, actually. What's the plan for Tuesday? Those that didn't play today feature, surely? We, we'll probably have to mix it up, Mark, if I'm being honest. Um, there's a few. We've demanded a lot off these players over the last week or so. So there'll be a few that are really stiff and sore. Cody might be available, but we'll have to look if we want to risk that. Um, but of course, the league is a massive priority. I do want to win the game. Don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not going there to, to not win it. Um, so we'll set a team up to go and win the game and, um, and then we'll see where we are. But Eastbourne, with our eyes on Eastbourne, that's a, that's a tough game. Two good football insides on a 3G down there. They had a great win in the week against Dorking. Um, I don't know how they got on. I think they won today at Hungerford. Oh, did they? Well, that's a fantastic win there. That's no mean feat going to Hungerford on a real tricky pitch. And we know how good they are at what they do. So congratulations to Danny. He, he did ring me yesterday to see how I was, so he's a good guy. He's a nice guy. I look forward to catching up with him and having a drink down there, but first and foremost, we'll go head-to-head -head in the game. I know there's, a, there's possibly a coach going, so I want to say on here tonight that John Reynolds has kindly donated £300 for the away coach. We do need a lot of people on it for it to run, um, to make sure it is viable as well, and we can do it. Cheryl will need your support in that, so I know it'll be advertised tonight, Saturday night. Um, so hopefully we get a nice group to go down there and we'll go and enjoy the day and you only enjoy it by getting a result so thanks to John Reynolds and um, we look forward to going to Eastbourne next Saturday firstly we'll go to Froome on Tuesday and try and win that one Many congratulations for today Cheers, thanks, thanks. Mark Cheers